Guys, we are gonna go ahead and choose a winner today. I know I've been lagging. I have not chosen a winner yet for the big old Be Perfect Scepter collection, okay? This is, I still have it here. I've not, it's literally been sitting in my studio. Um, but you guys, okay, so let's just talk between me and you. We're gonna dive into the pink palette today. We're gonna dive into Pink Religion, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And as you guys know, if you guys know me very well, I'm like terrified of pink colors. Like I just don't do pink. Like I just don't do pink. And as I'm just literally, like I'm just staring at this palette, I think it's a lovely palette. I think, you know, for anyone that loves pink, this is totally your vibe. I love pink. I do love playing with it. I just don't wear it all the time. It's just not like a go-to palette for me. Like I just, I don't know. But there's a lot of really pretty colors in here that I'm actually kind of like obsessed with like this handbag queen which is like probably the most least pink one but it's like dark and maroon and it's just so like sexy and i might even do something with like beauty killer um or something so hang tight get ready subscribe to my channel i would love to see you guys again um and yeah let's get into some makeup you guys we did the review of the collection in the prior video to this so if you guys want to kind of get more information of what i think about the whole collection go ahead and check that video out um but right now we're gonna play with it we're gonna dive into this palette and really see what the tea is i already know these shadows are gonna be dope because jeffree star shadow are probably honestly for me top five favorite like top five best shadows like I mean his pigmentation his formulas like it's just really good whether you guys like him or not or whether whatever the situation is you guys can't take that away from him like his products are really good um I'm thinking about doing like very dark maroon just really like maybe a little wet I don't know I think I might do like a little wet in there like a little something like Morphe has these gloss um, they're called gloss pops and they basically is for face and eye so if you want to do like a really cool um, like a wet look kind of situation and just really want to feel like you're just in the ocean coming out being all stunning this product is one of my favorites um and it little goes a long way so let's go ahead and get this on um <laughs> as you guys know i'm just kind of like postponing because i'm really like scared to use this palette um okay so let's get this going i'm gonna go ahead and use um one of his brushes back in morphe so this is the jeffrey and morphe collab Ooh, actually this is really actually this is more pink than maroon and you guys i didn't do any primer because Obviously, I've worked with his product before, and it's just, his products are really good. Like, I just really love them, so I don't really use primers. Wow. I kind of love it just like that. That's like one color, huh? That's cool. See, you guys, when I go like this, it means, like, I really like it. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and continue using that one. So this shadow right now, you guys, is Handbag Queen. It's like a really dark maroon. It's super matte. I always tend to only use mattes. Like, I barely, rarely use shimmers on my eyes because I just don't like shimmers on my eyes. Like, I just really don't care for it. Um, but there are some really pretty shimmers in here. There's Princess Crown, there's Frosting Cult, and there's Candy Cathedral. Like, very pretty very sparkly I think today I might put a little bit of the new highlighters on my eye look at that how gorge and honestly no fallout I'm very very happy with that I wonder what like I mean obviously I don't make palettes and I don't do a shadows but like I wonder what they use to like not have fallout I feel like every brand should really step their game up because there's certain palettes that are just ridiculous like you literally put your brush in there and it's just kind of like just fluffs everywhere look at that oh I like this already so this is just one color. This color reminds me of blood sugar. Like I feel like this is what like what I would see in blood sugar. So pretty. So now I'm gonna change my brush to something a little tinier and we're gonna go ahead and just really bring in the pink color. So we're gonna punch it with the beauty killer. We're gonna use this color next, you guys. So beauty, uh, so basically I started off here and I'm gonna jump up here and if I'm feeling a little, you know, a little, um, over the top, I'm going to probably dip into like a little hot, like a lighter baby pink. I'm just trying not to be too pink. So taking this color, Beauty Killer, let's go ahead and just wrap it in there. I'm probably not going to see it as well. Yeah, it kind of blends in, to be honest. And then let's go ahead and do like a smaller brush. Let's get like a small brush and let's actually try Beauty Killer on the bottom. Because I feel like when I put it on this color, the color Handbag Queen is already so dark that anything you put on it, you can't really see it. So, ooh, okay. And if you guys are wondering what that bump on my eye is, it's a fucking sty. It comes like once a year. I hate it. I'm so insecure about it. So if anyone out there that has have ever had a sty, like you guys know exactly what you, it, what it is. It's so annoying. You can't do much about it. You just kind of have to like leave it. And I've been like literally doing shows back to back. So I haven't even not, not touched it. I've been putting on makeup and it's just probably not really good for it. So I try to like bring my shadow down to kind of like cover it. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Okay, you guys, so right now, 
I'm starting to love it. I really love like this nothing on the lid thing. Like I love that. It kind of like makes it interesting. Like I really just love it like this. Like I don't know why I just love it. Okay, so just go ahead and just press this. Like I love that. Actually, should we just put like some something on the lid? Maybe we should do a pink, huh? I feel like this pink shade right here would be really pretty like there. Should we try it? Oh my god. Okay, fine. Let's just try it. I kind of like it. It's really... Okay, let's just try it. Oh wow, that's actually really pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I literally just tapped it. Wow, that looks so good. Okay, I'm into it. Like li literally, you guys, I just tapped it. Can you guys tell? Look at that. I just tapped it. It's so pigmented, I cannot. Okay, this definitely took it to the next level. I'm into it. Okay, so now let's do that. Okay, she's fierce. I think that's pretty much it. Let's, I, I don't want to do any shimmers to be honest because I just like it really matte right now. Let's see with the liner. Actually, now let's do like, let's do like a lot of, see you guys, this is what I do all the time in the studio when I get ready. I'm like, what the fuck do I do? I talk to myself. Should I do liner? I'm gonna need liner. <laughs> I don't know what I should do. Hmm. I don't want, I like it just like this. I don't know why. It's so like airy, like just like soft. Let's do liner on top, like a thin line. I, this is like, like one of my tricks that I do. Cause you guys know when I get, when I put on lashes, I always have to slant them up because of my eye shape. Like if I put lash, like lash line to lash line, like you literally cannot see my lashes. It's just my eye shape, it sucks, I know. So anyone out there that has been zooming in and in on the videos, y'all always see there's like some black here. It's just a little trick I do, you guys should try it. It definitely um, changed my life. Um, I wish I can wear lashes from lash line to lash line, but it, you just, it'll just look ridiculous. So what I do is, I usually go up like that. You're not gonna see this, I promise. This is just gonna be like the fill. See, you take it. And this is pretty much what I do. You're not gonna see it. So for today, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and put on lashes. Now you guys know, um, if you guys shop at Batty B Lashes, you guys can definitely use my code Kimora. It does save you money off at the end. Um, my promo code works for a lot of different brands. And if you guys are shopping at Morphe, go ahead and use my code Kimora. This one's called Snatch. So I've been loving Batty B Lashes too. Like it's literally either Batty B or Tati Lashes for me, which are very, very, very different brands. Like a Tati Lashes to me are just so big and editorial and fluffy and gorgeous. Like I love, 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 love Tati lashes. Um, and then I love Batty B too, because Batty B is very like thin, but still has like a little kick, you know? Like, I mean, look how gorgeous like these lashes are. Like they're just so pretty. And I, I really, depending on the mood and depending on the makeup, I always change my lashes. So today I feel like because it's like pink and very like already editorial, I think we're gonna do like a lash that's not so thick, um, which let's just go ahead and double try it. So as I did the liner, this is what it looks like. This is how I, ooh, how pretty. See that, the, the liner literally disappears. Like that's just a trick, you guys. Like if, and honestly, like I would go full force in and do liner, but sometimes when you guys wear lashes, like it literally becomes the liner because the lash is already so black. So like that's another, another trick too is, you know what I mean? Like you don't have to do liners all the time. And then well, as that dries, we're gonna go ahead and put on some mascara. Um, since we are doing a lot of Jeffree products today, we're gonna go ahead and use the Fuck Proof Mascara. I've just honestly been loving because the brush is so small and his mascara, like it literally, I mean, I don't even have fucking lashes to be honest. Um, it just fits my eye. Oh, oh my God. As I'm telling you guys, this mascara is amazing. Mascara is definitely like an area opportunity for me. I don't know how people can just always do it without stabbing their eye, okay? Oh my God, I love it. And I do a little fan and push it out. How sickening, girl. So these lashes are called hashtag snatched and they're on Batty B. Ah! 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 Oh my God, my nail went into the fan. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh-uh, I'm never wearing pink eyeshadow again. Y'all throw me off. How's that? That's so pretty. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So now we have the top lash on. I love the bottom the way it is. I think I'm going to deep... I think I'm going to put like a little liner, like a little dark like black liner just on the edge of the eye. I'm going to stretch that wing out just like so. So now we're going to go ahead and figure out like what um, lip to wear. 
because he literally released, okay, so he released one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new lipsticks, you guys. So there's a white, we're not doing that. Um, there's a really, like, oh, this is actually really pretty. No, maybe, that's an option. Oh no, that's too pink for me. I don't know what that, let's see what this one is called. Oh, this is actually kind of nice. That's like pink. I think this is not the same. I mean, I kind of like this one, no? Like a, I used to wear a shade like this called Saint, Jean, Saint Germain from MAC. Or should I do like just white? <laughs> oh my God, I wish I could conversate with you guys, to be honest. Um, let's go ahead and do like a bubblegum pink. Let's do like this. This is called Pink Messiah. Should we do this one, you guys? Okay, fine, fuck it, we're gonna do it. Um, okay, so I don't know, does he have liners to go with this? So we're gonna go ahead and do it old school. So I always recommend getting a brush like this, you guys. Um, I use these for lipsticks because sometimes, let me tell you something, sometimes when you wanna like draw a perfect lip and you don't have a right liner and you just don't know what to do, like a brush is very handy. It almost treats the product like a liner, so you can take the brush, and you just like carve. Why is this brush so dirty? Hold on, let me clean this. What the fuck? Oh, I think because I had black lipstick on. Hold on, y'all. I need to have a sip of this Coca Cola, girl, because this I'm, I'm getting a little too stressed out. Something about a sugar rush work. Why was that brush so dirty? So taking that brush, you guys, just really like almost treat it like a paintbrush. And what you're gonna do is this is what's gonna help you line your lips. I'm telling you, it changed my life, you guys. I always recommend this for everyone. Because what if you don't have a liner, you know, and you want, like, perfect lips? That's actually kind of pretty. Ooh, that's so pretty, huh? I think it's like, like I'm super tan. Maybe. I kind of like it almost, like, washed. Ooh, okay. I always wear uh, liquid lips. But I actually don't mind. Oh, this looks dry. Let's see. So you can put a little bit on there, and you just kind of take a brush, and... Oh, it's going to need some gloss. And you take your hand, you can like press it. It's almost like setting it so the line doesn't look so like harsh. How pretty. And then last, you guys, we're gonna put a little gloss on the lid. Oh my God, that's so pretty. It looks literally just like my favorite lipstick back at MAC, it, like the St. Germain color. Like I love this. Okay, now that's done. Oh my God, I love it. Actually, this is probably the best pink look I've done. I just like it because it's so simple. There's like a little like definition, a little like, I love the lip matching the lid. It's it's actually really pretty. I'm actually really, really happy with it. Last but not least, you guys. So let's go ahead and pull this one out again. You guys can get this at Morphe. It's the gloss pop. And I'm just gonna do a little bit on the eyes. And it really just gives you texture. It just really kind of give makes the eyeshadow like, oh, bitch, I'm an expert, you know? So I do a little bit on my hand, um, but it just kind of adds a little texture, see? It's there, you guys. Should you guys want to come in and see a little closer? High pores. Um, so you can kind of like take it and just, you really want to just press it. It just kind of like makes it a little more interesting. Oh, I love it. It's very simple. I think this is something that you guys can definitely do at home and wear. I think this is like a, you can go out like this. I, I love it. I mean, I would personally would like to do a nude lip. I wouldn't really do pink pink. It's too monochromatic for me. Um, but for today's look, I think it works. Now, he did come out with other products as well. So we do have a little bit of the shimmer. Should I use this new highlighter, girl? This is the Sacred Glass Highlighter. Okay, I'm gonna pinch some in the middle, but actually maybe the pink in the inner corner would be pretty. Let's do it, right? I personally don't like to do so much highlight on my cheeks anymore. His highlights are very blinding. Oh wow, that's actually really pretty. Wow guys, I actually like it. Oh! Actually, I think that looks better, huh? Does this look better? I think it looks better. Well, okay. I think the gloss and like the highlight is like making like some type of concoction or some shit. Oh my god. I'm j I can't stop y'all. This is everything. Oh my god, I'm so addicted to this fucking highlight. You guys, this is the sacred glass. Oh, I can't stop putting it on. Look how fucking flawless this is now. Girl, I was like basic two minutes ago. Now I'm like not basic. Oh my god, I'm obsessed! Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at all my pores. How dare you? Okay, one more. One more layer. Fuck it. Oh my god, look at this. I can't stop. That was dope. 
Note to self, you guys, get that fucking gloss from Morphe. Like, that is everything. I think it just worked amazing like a primer. Now, there's one thing I can change about my makeup is my lips. I'm just not really feeling it, but I'm gonna keep it on because, like I said, we're just here for, the, we're here for it. What else, you guys? He has a mirror, so you guys can definitely purchase the mirror. Um, if I had a code, I would give it to you guys, but I do not have a code for this. Um, and then last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and spray the new setting spray. So he released the Holy Mist um, setting spray. So this is a soothing facial spray. Um, it basically soothes and hydrates the skin of even the strongest sinner. So I love that. I've actually used it the other day and I've just been, I'm really obsessed with it. Um, I don't think this is something that will keep your makeup on, but I like to have different setting sprays in my office because let's say like you're doing makeup and you're setting your face with so much powder like myself like I love powders and you really want to like bring the hydration back to the skin I always recommend something that's luminous instead of something mattifying because if you're gonna put matte on it's gonna mattify your whole face your face is gonna look like literally the desert so um I like to kind of bring the hydration back so as you guys can tell now just hydrate it so wow this is so kind I'm obsessed with this eye like I really do love this eye all right guys I'll be right back I'm gonna go slap on a wig and show you guys the final look bam how's the pink I'm loving it I'm definitely gonna change this lip because I'm not gonna wear this um, like I said, you guys, I just can't do monochromatic. It's just too pink for me. But we tried it out. We did like it. You guys, I had so much fun reviewing this full collection. Pink Religion is sickening. I love it. Now, if you all love pink, this is for you. <laughs> now, I'm ready to take this lipstick off. But as I promised you guys at the beginning of this video, we're going to go ahead and announce the winner. So right now, go ahead and jump over to my communities in YouTube and the winner will be announced. Congratulations to the winner. I am so excited for you to try out the new Scepter collection. Um, and also, if you guys are shopping on Be Perfect Cosmetics, you guys can definitely use my code Kimura. It does save you 20% off. Um, and yeah, sickening. So you guys, I had so much fun. Congratulations to the Jeffree Star Cosmetic brand for another amazing launch. I can't wait to see what you guys have next until next time and don't forget to subscribe to my channel we're about to hit 100k very soon hopefully i'm gonna manifest it <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video